the reading is taken from John chapter 20 verses 1 to 3 and 10 to 11 the first day of the week cometh mary magdalene early when it was yet dark unto the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed then she came running to the disciples and they all went to the tomb the disciples went back to their homes verse number 10 and verse number 11 but mary magdalene stood outside the tomb weeping and as she wept she stooped down and kept looking into the tomb my message to you today is finding jesus in this passage we see the woman is desperately seeking for jesus she's asking everybody where is my jesus where have you taken him mary why do you come to the tomb to seek for jesus and mary says i come to the tomb to seek for jesus because that is where i last left him there is a proverb look for a thing where you dropped it for it is there so also i tell you today look for jesus where you last left him and you will find him there because he has not gone from there but he waits there till you return to him if you have left him by restraining from prayer you will find him when you go back to pray if you have lost him because of sin you will find him when you give up your sin if you have lost him because you went after the worldly pleasures and after your own lust i want to tell you you will find him when you turn back and come back to him because he is still waiting at the place where you have left him and this is why mary magdalene runs early in the morning to the tomb because 3 days ago it is there that she left the hands of jesus the prodigal son took all his share he cheated his father he spent all the money on himself on lust and the bible says that all his money got over and when it got over no one gave him anything he then decided to go back to the father's house the father was waiting still for the son to come back i want you to note that the father never went uh, searching for the son but he was waiting at the place where the son left life without jesus is dangerous life without jesus is like a sheep without a shepherd life without jesus is like a tree whose roots have no water life without jesus is like a leaf in a storm So let us run back to the place where we last left the hands of my master to the place where we used to pray so well to the place where we used to read the bible to the place where we used to cry in his presence to the place where we loved him so much to the place where we used to worship him because it is there that jesus is waiting for you yes Mary Magdalene ran early in the morning to the tomb because it was there that she last left the hands of Jesus. Decision number 1 that we need to take today. If you want to find your Jesus, you need to go back to the place where you last left him. Amen. Number 2. Mary Magdalene goes alone. while it is still dark and she sees an empty tomb she returns to tell other disciples who also go to the tomb and verse number 10 and 11 the disciples went back home but mary stayed back at the tomb seeking for jesus listen carefully my friends it was fearful for they had killed their master it was so 
it was so lonely and it was a tomb but in fear in loneliness in darkness in hopelessness she still did not give up but she stayed on and was seeking for Jesus and you know what verse 14 says Jesus stood by her side and called her by her name I want to tell you today if you want to find Jesus you need to seek him till you find him don't give up in your searching for Jesus like the disciples who ran back home but we need to be like Mary Magdalene let it be darkness let it be sorrow let it be sickness let it be pain let it be any trouble let your best friend leave you but still i will seek for my jesus until i find him yes if you want to find jesus seek him till you find him many of us are today like mary magdalene in hopelessness in darkness in fear you're all alone i want to tell you don't give up if you want to find jesus don't give up but keep seeking until you find him and you will notice that jesus will be just by your side amen and thirdly to find jesus i want to tell you verse number 10 mary magdalene stood outside the tomb weeping and seeking weeping and seeking i love verse number 17 where jesus tells mary magdalene do not touch me for i am not yet ascended to my father in heaven in other words jesus is saying i'm supposed to go to heaven first after my resurrection but on my way i saw you weeping and seeking for me and so i turned back and came to meet you i know many people who seek for god and i also know many people who keep weeping but if you can seek him while you're weeping i'm telling you that you will find jesus jesus first meets with a woman who is weeping and seeking seek him while you're weeping seek him when people reject you seek him when sickness comes seek him when you're having a loss in your business seek him when doctors give up seek jesus when you are deceived seek him when you're broken hearted and i promise you that you will find him because he will give you the first priority see jesus he meets with a weeping and a seeking woman in conclusion i want to tell you to find jesus seek for him at the place where you last left his hand and it is there you will find him number 2 don't give up your seeking seek him till you find him and thirdly when struggles rejection pain calamity comes and you're weeping if you want to find jesus seek him while you weep because when you are weeping and you are seeking that is when jesus will come first and meet you may god bless you and help you to find jesus god bless you